Bruce is the voice of Vichy, a California Native American, the last known speaker of the Yahi language. It was recorded over a hundred years ago on a wax cylinder, one of thousands archived here at the University of California, Berkeley. The collection includes more than a hundred hours of audio, documenting 78 different indigenous California languages, even some that are no longer spoken. But time has taken its toll. The existing versions of them sound terrible. Um, they're full of noise. Um, you can make out that there's sound. You often can't actually tell what the sound is. Berkeley linguist Andrew Garrett is part of a team working to save these rare recordings. I see what we're doing as creating the possibility of digital repatriation of cultural heritage to the people and communities where the knowledge was created in the first place while still making it available for scholars. With support from the National Science Foundation, they're applying new optical scan technology to transfer and digitally restore the collection, even recovering audio from damaged or broken cylinders. The scanning technique was developed more than a decade ago by a team at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, led by physicist Carl Haber. I thought that we might be able to essentially read the sound recordings using optical or techniques based on light so we wouldn't have to touch the material. It's a tough job, made harder in that they are literally moldy. Project specialist Olivia Dill can see it on her computer screen. That's places where we think mold has eaten away and pulled out wax and caused these deep depressions into the surface. Consider this wax cylinder recording made in 1907 of a Yurok Indian named Domingo. Here's what it sounds like after being optically scanned and digitally cleaned up. I mean, of course, you can't understand it if you don't know you're off, but, um, but you, can't, you can actually understand it. That's what's amazing about this to me. For Garrett, who is compiling a volume of Yurok stories along with English translations, it's a treasure trove. I'll be able to actually use the cylinder recordings to figure out what the language of the stories is. Um, that, for a researcher, provides all kinds of information about sentence patterns, morphology, pronunciation. So our greeting today now is Mishi uh, Hutu, and that literally means good day. For Louis Trevino, the voices on these cylinders are a link to his Rumson heritage. There is no one still alive who grew up speaking their language. The wax cylinder archive contains 27 recordings in Rumson. Because we don't have old timers who can sing these songs or other songs for us, this is our sole, one of our sole resources. Um, for that reason, it's especially precious to us. The team sees the restored cylinders as a gift of language and culture that would otherwise be lost, sacred to some, important to us all. I think if you're interested in what it is to be American, which is a essentially a pluralistic and diverse society, if you're interested in that, then you have to be interested in what makes up all of the many cultures that make up America. Putting technology to work to revitalize Native American voices from the past, that's worth pursuing with laser-like focus. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.